Yo, it's one of the guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in another video today, and today uh, we're going to be talking about how the Houston Texans can make it into the playoffs going into the final week of the season. Um, I'm sure most Texans fans do know how the Texans can make it into the playoffs, but I wanted to come on here and just talk about how the Texans can make it into the playoffs, just in case any Texans fans don't know. Um, and also, I just want to get a chance to talk about how I f you know, feel about the Texans' chances getting into the playoffs. And there's another big thing I really want to talk about, and something I learned tonight, is that the Texans will be playing on Saturday night. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting and, and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this all season long. The Texans are finally getting a primetime game. Um, as you saw the Dallas Cowboys and the Detroit Lions play on Saturday night, it was Saturday night. It was it was Monday night football on Saturday night. Now the big reason why you did see that happen was because um, you know to, today or to, tomorrow um, the college football playoff is happening: Texas and Washington, and Alabama and Michigan. So that's that was the main reason why they were doing the Cowboys Lions on Saturday night. Um, because of the college football playoffs. Now, the reason why they're doing a Saturday game, well, this week they're doing two Saturday games uh, with the Texans and the Colts, the night game and the afternoon game, the Ravens and the Steelers. The reason they're doing that is because they, ne they never do, they never do um, a Monday night football game in the final week of the season. It's always Sunday night football game, regular season's over. So that's why there's no Monday Night Football game. And last year was the first year that they uh, did Saturday game, two Saturday games in the final in the final week of the, in the final week of the season. It always it was always it's always been Sunday games, and then and then you have your Sunday night game. It's the end of the season, and then uh, playoff time. But now they've made it where it's two Saturday games, then your Sunday games, early afternoon and late afternoon, and then your Sunday night game, then it's time for playoffs. So that's what it's changed to. So the Texans are going to be on the Saturday game. Joe Buck and Troy Aikman on the call, and it's going to be great. I know, you know, sure, the Texans have got their recognition that they deserve. C.J. Stroud is going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. I don't think it will happen, but D'Amico Ryans is in the conversation for head coach of the, head coach of the year, which I think is is good enough for me. He doesn't have to win, uh, but the fact that he's in the conversation and same thing goes for Will Anderson Jr. I think his odds probably went up a little bit with two sacks today against the Tennessee Titans. I don't think he'll win. Jalen Carter, I think, will probably be the winner in that award. But the fact that he's in that um, uh, in that conversation as well. In and you know with with you know it's not like team you know it's not like fans or you know anybody it's not like nobody's talking about us we are being talked about the way we have played this season it has been acknowledged but the, the at times have been upset about how there's been a certain amount of teams that have got to play on national television and we haven't I mean the Patriots have played they played a Sunday night Christmas Eve game. Um, they also played a Thursday night football game. The Panthers, the Panthers, yes, the Panthers. The Panthers have played a Thursday night football game and a, and a, a Monday night football game as well. Um, and, you know, like uh, something I didn't understand is how does the first overall pick uh, get two primetime games but the second overall pick doesn't? And you're, you're talking about two quarterbacks who are really talented. Um, and uh, it surprised me that the Texans – it's not, I mean, I'm sure you can argue the Panthers were better than the Texans last year, but um, I think the, a lot of people thought the Texans were going to be better this year. Not this good, but you know, better than, than they've been in the past. Um, but just upsetting that the Texans haven't got any national television games this season. But they finally are, and this will be the most important game of the whole season because getting into how the Texans can make it, make it to the playoffs – because if the Texans win this game, they make it to the playoffs. Against the Indianapolis Colts, the Texans get in if they win this game. Now, it, it gets complicated. It gets complicated, though, because there, there can be multiple seeds the Texans can beat. 
So you win against the Colts, and the Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Tennessee Titans. You are the seventh seed. Although, you could be the sixth seed if the Buffalo Bills lose to the Miami Dolphins. I'm pretty sure there is a chance to be the sixth seed if you lose to, uh, I mean, if you beat the Colts and Buffalo loses to Miami. That's, that's, you can be the seven or six seed if that happens. But if you beat Indianapolis and the Titans beat the Jaguars, where there's, it's unsure if Trevor Lawrence is going to play or not, you are the four seed and you will be in as uh, you will be in as the four seed and win the division and you will host a playoff game. And here's where it gets good. The team that just kicked your kicked your behind a couple weeks ago at home would come into Houston, most likely would come into Houston because the, the Browns would probably be, would most likely be, yeah, the Browns should be the fifth seed. Um, so the Browns would be the fifth seed and they would come into Houston to face the Texans uh, after just kicking our butts Without C.J. Stroud, now we would have C.J. Stroud. That would be a great uh, wild card matchup for the Houston Texans. All right, um, so that that's how the Texans can get in. They can either get in as a wild card, as a seven or six seed. Um, if they win and Buffalo wins, uh, they're the seven seed. If they win and Buffalo loses, they are the six seed. If they win and Jacksonville loses, they are the four seed. So it's either. Six, seven, or four seed for the Houston Texans. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm so glad that the Texans are going to be on primetime, and it's going to be the biggest game of the year for them. You win, you're in. If you win and get a Jags loss, you host a playoff game at NRG Stadium. That's the video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know your thoughts, and peace out. Go Texans.